being rich is, when you think about it, just a state of mind. Well, that and a whole lot of money. Donald Trump is rich. Now, he may not be $8 billion rich, like he says he is, but everyone pretty much agrees he's billions rich, which, as a licensed rich analyst, means you have a lot of money. Trust me, I'm a professional. I'm really rich. I, I never went bankrupt, by the way, as you know, everybody knows. I built an unbelievable, some of the greatest assets in the world, very little debt, tremendous cash flow, tremendous. Everyone just sort of assumes that people who make a lot of money also pay a lot of money to the government in taxes. And in most cases, they do. If you make more than $500,000 or your family makes more than $600,000, you paid a 37% income tax in 2019, which is a lot of cash. Again, trained rich analyst at work here. But not all wealthy people pay a lot of taxes. In fact, some pay none at all. Quote, we don't pay taxes, only the little people pay taxes. Hotel owner and businesswoman Leona Helmsley once infamously said. Now, one of those no tax rich people happens to be the current president of the United States. And we don't know all of the details of Donald Trump's past tax returns because, well, he's the first major presidential candidate and president to refuse to release any, any of those documents. Trump and his administration have made any number of excuses for why they keep his taxes secret, from the fact that he claims to be under audit, which would make it a really long audit, to the ridiculous notion that people wouldn't understand his returns because they're too, complex. I don't think Congress, particularly not this group of congressmen and women, are smart enough to look through the thousands of pages that I would assume that President Trump's taxes will be. All of that is to say this. We have no definitive view of Trump's financial life, including how many years he has paid zero in taxes. But there are lots of reasons to believe that Trump hasn't paid personal income taxes for a whole bunch of years. So let's start here. How does one go about not paying taxes? Well, the first way is to not make very much money. If you earn under $12,000 as an individual or $24,000 as a couple, you have a 0% tax rate, meaning you pay nothing. And the second way to do it is Trump's way. Take full advantage of the massive loopholes in the tax code for businesses and, in particular, real estate developers. So the details here are complicated. It has to do with perceived depreciation of commercial real estate and the ability to write off mortgage and interest payments, but it all amounts to this. Trump can declare significant revenue losses through his businesses, which in turn would allow him to avoid paying any personal income taxes. The theory is that you don't pay taxes if you make less than zero dollars in a year. But these losses Trump's declaring aren't real. They exist on paper, but because of the way the real estate industry works, they don't amount to actual financial money losses in the long run. Here's a real life example of how this all works. On Trump's 1995 personal income tax return, which the New York Times got their hands on, Trump declared $916 million in losses. Now, let's say he earned, on average, $50 million in each subsequent year. That would mean that for the next 18, yes, 18 years, Trump wouldn't have had to pay any taxes at all, none. Now we know that Trump paid little or no taxes for two years in the late 1970s. In applying for a casino license in 1981, Trump told regulators that he had reported a negative $3.8 million in income for 1978 and 1979 combined, a move that allowed him to pay no taxes those two years. Pressed on that fact by Hillary Clinton during a 2016 presidential debate, Trump not only confirmed the lack of tax payment, but reveled in it. He had to turn them over to state authorities when he was trying to get a casino license, and they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So That makes if me he's smart. Paid then there's this. The New York Times got a hold of tax return information for Trump from 1985 through 1994. In that period, he reported losses of more than $1 billion. That's more, according to the Times, than any other single American taxpayer lost over the same time period. I mean, and in that same decade, Trump didn't pay any taxes, any taxes in eight of the 10 years, not one dime. So Trump has been at turns dismissive and defensive when asked about these years when he paid zero taxes. Quote, Welcome to the real estate business, he wrote in an email to Politico in 2016 in response to a story that he may have paid no personal income taxes for several years in the 1990s. 
During that debate with Clinton in 2016, Trump insisted he pays, quote, tremendous numbers of taxes, adding, quote, I pay tax and I pay federal tax too, end quote. Put the spin and non-answers aside and you're left with this fact. Trump has repeatedly taken advantage of loopholes within tax law to pay no personal income taxes. Now, what he has done isn't illegal, and it may not even hurt him politically, since no one thought that they were electing an angel when they chose Trump over Clinton in 2016. But there is something very incongruous about the billionaire president of the United States paying zero dollars in taxes over an extended period of years. And that is the point. We make new point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.